welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing just this piece of lamb australian finest lamb i'm going to be pot roasting this lamb so guys i'm going to season it and wash it wash it and season it off camera and get back to you when it's guys, cooking time i start seasoning up the lamb off camera i'm using some bread and grill season so it have capsicum in there, onion, garlic, and a few other things. So I've put some on it, on the other sides already. So I'm just gonna put some garlic and some blended ginger and garlic. I use some sea salt also pink Himalayan sea salt and I'm going to be putting some ground pimento which is all spice on it and I'm going to be incorporating all of this season and then later on you know I'm going to do my injection into the needle with some blended seasoning just the the blended water I'm gonna use so guys I'm gonna prepare up this rub it up and then get back to you guys just to show you what I was using on the meat so I'm gonna pot roast this meat today for dinner what I'm going to do I'm gonna be blending up some rosemary see rosemary in there with garlic and ginger and some onion so this is what i'm going to be using in my injection needle so guys i'm going to strain this i've made up some season water already Mm, you can smell the rosemary in this. It smells good. So when I'm finished, this is what I'm going to inject in the lamb. And give it that nice flavor. So guys, Just a little small demonstration. You pull everything up in the needle. So this is where the juice goes in. See? And then you're gonna be putting the needle down in the meat. Right all around it. Till you see the season water coming out see and the rosemary the liquid will make this taste so good wow Guys, I'm gonna be cutting this video now. Then I'm gonna be putting the meat to roast in the pot, the Russell House pot, and I'm gonna be sauteing each size to seed it, and then I'll, I'll let it stay in the pot and pot roast. So let's what get into that. Do me the honor of putting the meat in the pot. So to seal the sides, we are going to saute it. As soon as it gets <laughs> it get brown on the sides, we will get back to you with it. Let's turn it. 
you cut that so after I peel the rest aside I'll get back to you look how nice that looks so I will slash it up on this spot that is because I'm cooking so see it look good I peel all the sides already so just that little part leaves that can stay but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil in the pot and I'm gonna put it in the pot so guys I'm gonna put cover on so this is it guys cover is gonna go on now I'm gonna be translating this and I'm gonna put it on hot rose so there you go so these are always a thing out of these in the kitchen Checking on the potato. This is just for the two of us. Checking on the, the rose. Woo! Guys, you see that? So I'm gonna let this cool and then we're gonna slice it up. I'm gonna make some gravy with the leftover from what I made to put in the meat with the injection needle. So see you then. Mashing the potato. We'll do a small amount. And then the two of us here. Just a small amount, mm. and we are gonna add some crushed garlic. Some garlic, extra flavor. So, guys, the garlic is good to add to it. People that have blood pressure should try and consume garlic it lower your blood pressure so Tony's gonna mash this out some more mash it out smoothly I'll get back to you when it's all finished so it's not dry look at that beautiful you see my husband is handy in the kitchen beautiful. no lumps my mum would be horrified if there was lumps in it She didn't teach me much, but she taught me how to make mashed potatoes. Some vegetables, green peas, and string bean and carrots. So when this is finished, I'm gonna go dish up the dinner. The fish, I'm gonna rest it aside. I'm gonna hold this spoon and just take it out. I'm gonna show you how much water. This, you see how much water is in there, and I didn't put any water in there. So it's going to stay here, so the steam pan is going to cool down and then Tony is going to slice it up. Look how beautiful it looks. I've used some of the gravy from the Russell Hobbs. So I'm going to add some cornstarch in there. 
it wet. I'm gonna be cutting up some onion into it, even though the onion is blended from the seasoning, from what I use to season it. Right. Onion, thyme, and some chopped garlic. Going away, bubbling away in the pot. Making it. Mm -hmm. So juicy it is. Mm. This is the end of our video. Don't forget to subscribe. This is our dinner. Give a thumbs up. Antonio, of course, he loves gravy. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to put some potato. yeah, on his potatoes. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Leave a comment. Give a thumbs up, share with a friend. Thank you for watching. See you in our another video. Bye for now.